Santa Rosa family is lucky to be alive after a fire tore through their home this morning. WEAR Sade Ray joins us live in the studio. Sade, the family is still trying to figure out the next steps to take. Yona, they are. When I got to the scene, the house was charred black. Neighbors were grabbing what they could see, grabbing anything they could to see if it could be saved. The mother says she's grateful to be surrounded by people who are dedicating their time to help her family still enjoy Christmas. What started as a regular morning at Stonebrook and Pace quickly took a different turn. Rachel Sammons was playing in the kitchen with her son. The smoke alarm started screaming, but the mama too couldn't find the smoke. And that's when I heard my son scream and he said, Mom, there's a huge fire. I came out there and the whole garage was in flames. When the fire broke out just after 11 a.m. Saturday, firefighters flew into action, followed by neighbors once the situation was safer for them to help out. I feel like I've just had people holding my hands and people looking after me and thinking about things before I could even process it. There were things from my grandfather and his grandfather uh, that we've found some of them not even skates, which is crazy. Some of those other memories saved included family photos. This is Rachel. Oh my goodness. Wearing so her cute. first. And even Rachel's wedding dress. Rachel said she can't believe neighbors are spending their Christmas weekend helping her. They're in my front yard laying out pictures for drying and asking me what to save and they could be anywhere in the world, but they're here. Sue Collier was one of half a dozen neighbors that helped take out what could be saved. People have already gone out and shopped. People have donated gift cards and money, and it's just been overwhelming. So we're going to make sure those kids have Christmas. Collier said the Stonebrook community leans on each other year round, and even more when tragedy strikes. They'll get through it. We'll help them get through it. Right now, the Sammons family is focused on getting through the night. Rachel says this whole situation is hard to process, but she's thankful for all the support. The Sammons family will be staying with friends and family. Live in the studio, Shade Ray, WEAR News.